Um, I think that the beginning of sorrows were probably in it. Uh, talked about Matthew 24. I think that uh, it's very interesting that Trump was born on not just a blood moon, but a sorrows, a sorrow set blood moon, sorrows set blood moon. Uh, that's S O R O S, sorrows blood moon set, 1946. So he was, you know, born on a sorrows blood moon. And Matthew 24 talks about the beginning of sorrows. And we know who Trump is. So that's kind of crazy. Uh, he was the one under, you know, under him. The the little sticky pokey came in, and when he went out, uh, you know, was at the beginning of sorrows, you know, 2020. Again, remember, I told you guys how the 1335 talked about in Daniel from the Dome of the Rock to 2020 was 1335 years. So these patterns are pointing us and leading us to truth to understanding that the Bible is, is warning us. So the beginning of sorrows is going to probably continue to get more sorrowful. Sorrowful because of what happened in 2020 with the sticky pokey under the person who was born on a sorrows blood moon set in 1946. Can't even make this stuff up. So, you know, he's the last Trump. And he gets sworn in uh, when he wins next. He will. And January 20th, 2025. 20 times 25 is 500. 500 is the Antichrist in the Strong's Concordance Greek. And also, if you look up 500 in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 8, I believe, it says that when Jesus rose from the dead, uh, uh, over 500 people saw him. So this is a very interesting pattern. You know, why is it using the number 500 there at the resurrection of Jesus? Is it kind of pointing us to 2025 and a resurrection, possibly a rapture? I don't know. I don't know for sure. But I'm just looking at patterns because that is how you find out the secrets and the mysteries to God. Proverbs 25, 2. So, yeah, we just got to hang in there. We got to endure all right, thanks, guys. God bless. Look at that. The wheels within the wheels. <laughs>